I want to talk about seven things I badly want to tell women. So I've, I've been a um, relationship coach for over 20-something years, and um, um, I've always been a bit passionate about women because, see, because people always tell us, oh, pastor, why do you always talk to women? Why does everything look like so? Because the truth is that it's women that always uh, feel the pain of relationships. It's women that always feel it. Even though this whole um, series is not only about relationship, but you really cannot talk to women and not put that there somewhere. It's, 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 it's a part of women's um, um, making, makeup, all right? And let me just say this, ladies. Don't, 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 don't ever be embarrassed or tired of being interested in relationships. It's just you were made as a relational being. You were just created like that. The first thing Eve saw was a man. That's the first thing Eve encountered. So you are naturally going to be relational. It's the same way a woman is um, a nurturing being. Because you came with a womb. You came with breast. That is, that's already implicated you. All right? Do you understand? By creation, you will love children, you know, because you were, your makeup, you were physically even created that way. Men, on the other hand, men need relationships just that they are not aware of it. It's not so much in their consciousness. I mean, a man incredibly needs a woman. In fact, I, I, I don't even know how some men even survive without a woman in their life. I've, I've been married for a long time now, so it's very foreign to me to even imagine I could be existing without being married right now. I'm so used to having a helper. And not just a helper, a helper that is better than me. Praise God. You can't drive me if I drive more than you. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Have you ever hired a driver that you're doing more of the driving than him? You want to fire the person. I don't know if you have those kind of drivers. They're saying, turn here. No, break. You're, you're pressing. <laughs> He's supposed to be driving you, but you are doing the driving. You will fire that guy. Or you hire a cleaner and you are having to go around with him or her to say, clean this place. Then both of you are doing the same job. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. So when God designed the whole makeup, God made man. God made man and God himself said, I see, when God says something, you can't be arguing with God. God made man and looked at man. Remember that day, God had made, uh, that week rather, God had made different things. He had made the sun, the stars, the light, the everything. And he was saying it was good, it was good, it was good. And for the first time, God made man. And God himself said, uh, uh, it's not good. God <laughs> said something he made. It's not good for this man to be what? Alone. And God said, look. I'm going to remedy this situation by creating what? A helper. That's what God said. So God actually packaged everything that the man did not have and put it in a woman and gave that woman to the man. So as a woman, the truth is that potentially you are extremely more sophisticated and more gifted than the average man. Totally. Any day, any time, a woman will knock a man off. Any day, any time. One on one, you are too gifted. A lot of things you take for granted, it, it amazes us. Your abilities, your ability to process things, your ability to observe things, your ability to make decisions. Men are way slower. That's why they say men cheat more, but women cheat better. <laughs> women are sophisticated. If a woman is cheating here, nobody would know. In fact, it's her husband or boyfriend that will go and drop her where she's cheating. And he will know. He will be with her phone and not know that the thing is going on. But if a man is sitting here, he, he will first be tying his phone on his leg. He so we have password, the has password, the has password. So we don't even need to check it. The way you are guarding it has already implicated you. If a man sees a fine girl, he will stare. Like, Everybody will know he's looking at the girl. If a girl enters a room and wants to scan the room, she has scanned the room and known the eligible guys and the non-eligible guys. Before that looking. <laughs> A lot of times, guys think they are the one that approach you. They don't know that you are the one that approach them. <laughs> Men are that clueless. Girls, you know how you do it now. You already know who you want to, to, to talk to and who you don't want to talk to. Men and women have decided from the room. They've checked out everybody. Checked out how this one is eating. Check out how this one is dressed. Check out this one can't walk. This one can't walk. It's only these two guys. Then you will pass there as often as you need to. Show them what you got, baby. <laughs> So most of the women approach men and men don't know. Men think they're the one that toasted her. She's the one that toasted you. <laughs> Is somebody get what I'm saying? You are extremely sophisticated. So you need to know that. 
You need to know that. That you are such a blessing. And my desire is that you will start seeing the value in yourself. Men need you. They just don't know it. But you need to also value yourself. Because men can value you more than you value yourself. I've never seen any business or any market where somebody goes to the shop and says, how much is this Rolls Royce? And they tell him $2 million. And he says, I want to pay $2.5 million. I've never seen that. What happens is that when they say $2 million, people try to bring the price down. And that's what happens in life. People will try to bring your value down. It's up to you to keep your value. But what most women sometimes, they try to determine their value by what people are pricing them. Don't follow that. People, can, people are free to price you anything. It's up to you to defend your value. People will price you. And, and if, you, if, you, if you're not careful, they will reduce your price to the lowest possible. In fact, they will even take it for free. And take you for granted. So seven things I want to tell women. Number one. Please have standards. Ladies, have standards. Oh, man, I can't say this enough. In my years of counseling, I usually discover this is one of the first areas that women make big mistakes. Women always assume that if I lower my standards, I will get a good deal. With men, it's totally opposite. Because men are hunters. By lowering your standards, you don't help yourself. Have standards. Standards protect you. Standards are crucial to you being your best. Have standards. You are more powerful than you think in this game. You are more powerful than you think in this life. You are the gift. You are the prize. You are the, you are the thing. The, see, inside every man, he genuinely desires to impress you. Somebody gets what I'm saying? Oh, you'll be amazed the length some guys go to get a woman's attention. There are men that are buying things for women and their mother is in the village without food to eat. Men want to impress you. <laughs> many years ago, um, <laughs> many, many years ago, we, I, 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 had, I had a lot of dogs. I had a lot of dogs, big dogs, massive dogs. Then I was, I was thinking of breeding dogs to sell. So I had many dogs in my house, many. So I knew there's no way I could take care of the dogs and I knew there's no way I could have a female house help. I needed a male house help. Because those dogs were big. They were bubbles. I don't know if you know what bubbles are. But they're very massive South African dogs. That's very, very massive. Big dogs. Those dogs, you don't take them for a walk. They take you for a walk. That's how massive they are. So they pull you. When they're tired, they take you home. <laughs> so I knew that I couldn't get a female house help to take care of them. So I got a male house help. Then after a while, um, it became obvious that the male house help, you know, could not do a lot of domestic things in the house. And uh, because he was always dealing with dogs, we didn't want him touching jams and all that and bringing it to wash dishes or cook. So we, knew, we also discovered that we might need to get a female house help. So we made the horrible mistake of having a, <laughs> of having a male and female house help together. <laughs> if you do that, you're going to breed. <laughs> it's not only dogs you will breed. <laughs> you will breed other things you are not planning to breed. <laughs> So when we got the female uh, uh, house help, <laughs> so I, we discovered, now, this guy, before the lady came, he was just minding his business, going about his job. From the day the lady landed, he would take off his shirt. Yeah. We said, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what is your flat chest? But right now, where you going? He was going crazy in the house because a woman had come. He wants to impress her. And that's what's happening in this whole world. People are doing different macho things just to get women's attention. Doing different things they have no business doing. Just to get women's attention. Is somebody get what I'm saying? Have standards. The average man really wants to please you. But you see, see let me tell you. It's like, it's like when, I, I, ladies, you understand this now. You've gone to a shop, you've seen a bag. You love this bag. But you know that in business, you can't show too much excitement. You, you, you do this in every day. So you like this bag, oh? You say, how much? Says, so thank you. So, ah! In your mind, you are saying, oh boy, no bad like that. Oh. It's not bad. Say, ah, thank you. Is it house I'm buying? You will pass. Then you will be checking, open the number by him. Then you come again and say, ah, this bag. You see there, yeah? Make I give you 5k. Say, no, it's 10k last. You say, ah, you know, no, no. Okay, you, you, you know, you, you know, you, you know what you can pay. You know, you love this bag, but you will do your best. 
That's how it is with marriage and relationship. When the guy knows he has found a good thing, he will keep trying to see how far he can push you. And unfortunately for women, this way women think, <laughs> women are, <laughs> this is what happens. Men are very easy, or men are very used to stating what they want in relationships. Men are very, you see, men are not emotional, they are transactional. Okay, so women marry because I love you. Men marry because I need you. It's transactional. So a man is looking at how can I gain from marrying this woman? Is she well to do? Is she hard working? Can she take care of kids? Can she give back children? Men are transactional in their love. Women are emotional in their love. So a woman can love somebody that there's no business loving that person. Why do you love him? Hey, so nice. I just love him. Men are never like that. Men will always mention something that you are adding or doing for them. So, when a man enters your life, he is very clear about what he wants. If he just wants to be sleeping with you, he will make it clear. I just want us to be, I just want us to be going out. I want us to be hanging out. I just want us to be together. He will try not to promise what he doesn't want. And if you take that offer, that I just want us to be hanging out, if that's okay for you, he will enjoy it. And when he started enjoying, you say, I'm, now I'm tired of us hanging out. Look at that, what he said. Men are very clear. They will say what they want. If they want to mess you up, if they just want to use you, if they want to keep you as a third chick, fourth chick, they will tell you. If it's all about sex, they will tell you. The problem with women is that women are very shy about saying what they want out of that relationship. So a woman will be thinking in her mind that if I just pretend and if I just give him all he wants, maybe... I will get all I want. Bad decision making. And usually ends up with the man getting all he wants and the woman not getting anything she wants. So we have loads of marriages where the women have resentment. Loads. Because she, had, she married with the hope. But she never made this hope clear. She just married with the secret hope in her heart that maybe if I do everything he wants, he will do something I want. Not knowing that men are not that selfless. Men are usually selfish. Wouldn't it be nice if you could read a man's mind? Or if you could at least know why he thinks the way he thinks. This book, my new book titled Manual, answers your questions. Many women have found it frustrating dealing with men. Because men think differently. So if you, whether you're a single woman or a married woman, and you want to have interactions with men, this book will help you. It's my new book titled Manual, How Men Think. I broke down what informs a man's decisions, why he does the things that he does. Just like your device that comes with the manual, consider this your manual for decoding men in your life. It's newly available, it's hot off the press. You can order it from any part of the world that you're in. And we have both in soft copy and in hard copy. I look forward to sending you this copy of this book. Rush right now and get it. It will bless you. And tell us, recommend it to a lady.